If you want to become a data scientist, Python is the perfect programming language for you. And in this video, we'll see all the Python stuff you need to know for data science. This includes concepts as well as Python libraries used for data science. When it comes to learning Python for data science, there are four main elements. Data collection, where we collect all the data that we're going to use for our project. Data analysis, here we clean the data and also we get some insights from this data. Data visualization, here we make plots like pie charts, bar plots and more. And finally, model building, which is all about machine learning. But before you learn all of this, you have to start with the basics. First, you have to learn data types in Python, so integers, floats, booleans, and strings. Then you have to learn variables. You have to learn how to create variables and use them in Python. Then you have to learn lists and dictionaries. This is widely used in data science because both allow us to store data. And with lists, you have to learn things like indexing, slicing, and many methods. The same goes for dictionaries, but with dictionaries it's a bit different because they work with keys, values, and items. After this, you need to master conditional statements and loops. They are key to doing more advanced stuff in Python. In the if-else statement, you have to analyze a test expression, and if it's true, you go to the body of the if, and if it's false, you go to the body of the else. In the for loop, we go for each item in a sequence until we reach the last item. Some other things you need to know are the while loop, the try except statement, and the nested loops. To finish learning the basics, you need to learn some Python functions. So build functions such as print, enumerate, and range, and also you need to know how to create your own function using the dev keyword and the lambda keyword. After you master the basics, you can start learning the four elements we mentioned before. So first is Python for data collection. This is all about collecting the data you need for your data science project. So usually the company you work for will give you this data. But in some other cases, you will need to extract data from the internet using some web scraping techniques. Web scraping allows us to automate data extraction by using bots and spiders. Some of the Python libraries used in data science are Beautiful Soup, which doesn't support JavaScript during websites but is easy to learn, Selenium, which can scrape dynamic websites but it's slow, and Scrapy, which is the most complete option. After you collect this data, you need to clean the data and also prepare it before building the model. To do that, you have to use some data cleaning techniques and the final result will be a clean data frame and we'll use two libraries named NumPy and Pandas to transform and clean all this data. So first, let's see the NumPy library. NumPy is all about arrays, so we can create 1D arrays and also we can create 2D arrays with NumPy. These arrays are used a lot when working with data frames in Pandas. Pandas allows us to work with data as we will do with other tools like Microsoft Excel. But with Pandas, we can work with larger data using Python code. In Pandas, we'll work all the time with data frames. And this data frame helps us do a lot of things with data. For example, we can create visualizations. We can use these data frames and some visualizations libraries such as Matplotlib and Seaborn to create some well-known plots such as scatter plot, bar plot, line plot, and pie charts. That said, you can make all of these visualizations also with the pandas library. But with Matplotlib and Seaborn, you can customize your visualizations even more. Another thing you can create is interactive visualizations. So besides seeing the plot, you will also be able to see the data behind each data point. Finally, once your data is prepared, you have to build your model. There are different machine learning algorithms, and they are classified into supervised and unsupervised learning. Some of the most common algorithms are SVM, decision tree, and logistic regression. And you can implement all of this in Python by using the scikit-learn library. 
That's it, if you want to learn Python for data science, check the free resources in the description and also download my free Python for data science cheat sheet. That's it for this video, I'll see you on the next one.